everyone, it's me, Ivysaurus. Um, so I kind of decided that I wanted to do a bit of a speed paint series where I draw the uh, main characters for some of my favorite music schools, such as, like, you know, Legally Blonde in the Heights, Hamilton, and for this one, Waitress, which is one of my current favorite musicals, other than In the Heights and Hamilton. Those are my top two, and then Waitress is, like, third, maybe tied for second. Um, and I am hoping to see it in March, February, when it comes to the city. Um, I think it's March, February. It might be March, April. I haven't checked in a while, and I don't have very good memory. But I asked for tickets for Christmas, so hopefully that works out. <laughs> um, this is Jenna. She's the main character. She's a, she's a waitress at a cafe type thing. I haven't seen the musical. I've only heard the songs. I haven't watched a bootleg, seeing as it's much cheaper than Hamilton and more affordable. And I have been hoping to see it eventually, so I didn't want to spoil it with a bootleg or anything. Not that I really watch bootlegs for things that aren't off-Broadway. I haven't seen a Hamilton bootleg. I have one, but I haven't watched it because I'm too much of a chicken. Um, so, yep, this is Jenna. That's about all I can say about that. It's She's holding a pie because she bakes pies that are really good. Um, I don't really- I'm not good at explaining things very well, but I'll try. Um, so, okay. Uh, so I think what I'm doing next is Usnavi, because I've been obsessed with In the Heights recently, hence why I'm doing an animatic for it, and I plan to do more in the future. I also do plan to do animatics for Waitress, I just haven't been able to. I mean, I have been able to, I just haven't had the motivation to. I will do them in the future. I just wanted to make some for In the Heights. Um, because it's been a bit of an obsession lately. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, there's not really any drama that makes you hate the characters. They're all little sweethearts, wholesome guys. I like them. I like it. I don't know. I'm not good at this type of thing, but I'm trying. So, on to the next thing. I was hoping to get a new editing software after Christmas with like Christmas money or whatever, because Windows Movie Maker isn't all that great of an editing software. For those of you who do use it, I'm sure you know that. And I'm hoping to find one that I can do without subscription services and stuff like that. I'm not sure if Sony Vegas does it. I haven't really looked into it. I'm not looking into it until I have the money to look into it. But uh, I would like to do animatics for more complicated songs, such as, you know, Blackout, Nonstop, that sort of thing, where there's a lot of layering of voices. But I can't with Windows Movie Maker because it doesn't allow me to layer frames and do tweening and stuff like that and I would like to do tweening and layer frames and try to actually animate stuff but Windows Movie Maker is not that good for that. It can do basic things but it doesn't even let you layer audio which made the making of this video very complicated because I had to first of all download the music and then I had to speed up the video yada 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 so I had to put the music in, quiet that down, save it for my computer so I could open it up again in another project and then add my narration type thing to it um so that took forever in itself and it's taking forever i mean i'm not in the process of finishing it but it will be past tense once i'm done making this obviously um so if you guys do have any recommendations for good editing softwares for animation and animatics um, please do recommend them. I'd like to use something that has, um, the, you're able to use green screens, um, overlays, that sort of thing, where I can actually make things and tweening and zooming in on stuff, and, because Windows Movie Maker can't do anything, literally. It has, like, the stupid transitions. It doesn't even, you can't fade out frames into other frames, and you can't, it doesn't even have so many basic simplistic transitioning, and animation things it's not fun to use i it aggravates me half the time um and it makes making animatics much less enjoyable than it can be i'm sure but it's 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 decent i can survive with it for a little while longer i just would like to be able to use something other than windows movie maker because like i said multiple times it's aggravating it is not a good program for editing and i do suggest if you're using it right now to try to find an alternative I am broke. 
until Christmas because, you know, Christmas money and stuff. I can't have a job. I don't have a job. I, yeah, I don't get paid for anything. So it's, it makes it difficult to be able to, um, buy stuff like that because it's all so expensive all the good editing software is like uh, sony vegas um is like four hundred dollars if it's not on sale and i'm not sure if there are many other alternatives that are good enough but you know what are you gonna do i'll figure it out um hopefully so i'm getting close to the end of this video or at least the end of the speed paint portion um, this art was particular, or it wasn't particularly easy, it was just fairly smooth. I didn't have any run-ins with technical difficulties, although I did have to flip around some of the, I did flip around the image at the end because I liked it better the other way. It's not really, I don't, I didn't see really any anim anatomical mess-ups or anything. There's minor ones, but it wasn't anything big, I just liked it the other direction. Um, out of per per preference, um, you can see that in the progress shots at the end, but... I do hope you enjoyed, um, like, comment, subscribe, I will see you in my next video, bye!